Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. It's been a hot minute. Oh, getting choked up. It's been a hot minute since I've done a video because of life and work stuff and everything and I've told you guys. So, welcome to everyone who is new to my channel. Welcome to all my returning subscribers. If you are new and you like the content, please click the subscribe button and like this video if you do. And also, if you feel so inclined, you can support my channel by clicking the little thanks button, which is the heart with like the dollar sign in it. And I appreciate all the support. So today, it's hot in here. Today, we're going to be doing a perfume collection. So this is just, this is just some of my perfume collection. I have the rest of it here on the floor. <coughs> and then also, I want to show you some items that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So I don't have enough for a haul because I only picked up a couple of items, but I, I will, I shall, I will show you what they are. So I picked up the Personal Care Sweet Breeze Hair and Body Mist. They had a couple of different kinds. This is the only one that I liked. It's, um, it's definitely a really, like, it's a nice floral. If I had to compare it to something, I would say it's like, a non-grandma version of Sweet Pea from Bath and Body Works. So I really like this one, <coughs> Sweet Breeze Hair and Body Mist. And then I picked up this from Suave, which I thought was such cool packaging. Look at that, isn't that pretty? This is the only um, scent that they had in this that I saw. So this is the Suave Flavor Factory Watermelon Slushy Shampoo. And it's a zero parabens and dyes and it has this really cool packaging, so. Yeah, I love the fact that it's this flavor factory. So it says watermelon slushy scent mashup. It says cool crisp melon pear green apricot. I, uh, it doesn't say watermelon in it, but <clears throat> so it smells just like a watermelon, like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, like a, what you expect a watermelon slushy to smell like. So anyway, <clears throat> then the other thing that I picked up, this was $10. It was buy one, get one 50% off. I already started using it. Um, th the Profusion Company came out with a Halloween collection. I should have gotten the eyeshadow, but I didn't. And then when I went back, this is the only real thing that they had left. So this is the Enchanted Makeup Book. And this comes with a face gem set, an eyeliner pencil, a sharpener, eyeshadow brush, and pressed glitter. So I already started using the sharpener because my eyebrow pencils were just like hot mess express. So then there is the glitter press shadow, the face gems, the eyeshadow brush and the pencil. So yeah, this was 10. It was like I said, buy one, get one 50% off, but there was nothing else to, to get. <clears throat> they had a couple of like they look like eyeshadows, but they look more like face paint for Halloween, so I didn't get those. Anyway, we are going to talk about perfumes and perfume in my collection. So what I'm going to start off with is, let's start off with the, making a mess. Let's start with the three, the three Nicki Minaj perfumes. Now my dog is sitting next to me. I have a pug in case you guys don't know. And he's sitting here snoring next to me. And I don't know why he is so interested in what I'm doing. So the Nicki Minaj perfumes, as far as I know, she's got three. Um, there's Pink Friday. There's Menagesty. And then there's this one that I don't have the perfume. I just have the spray. And this is Onika. So <coughs> I did a spray video you can look through my other videos. So I already did my sprays, but I just had this out just for comparison purposes. So I do like all three of the Nicki Minaj uh, perfumes. Um, if I had to pick a favorite, I would pick Pink Friday as my favorite. So it just, I don't know why I like Pink Friday the best. It just, it you know, it's kind of like a floral. Minaj is the... I don't know. I have to, I'm going to be spraying myself with, I don't know what it is. I like Menagesty and then Onika. 
I don't know. This is why I don't do perfume videos because it's very hard for me to describe perfumes. So Pink Friday. Now I actually think I like Menage a Steve better than Pink Friday. <clears throat> what I do like to mix together a lot is, and I've mentioned this before, is I like to mix Pink Friday with Poppy from Bath and Body Works, which this is such a great scent if you haven't picked it up. So, so amazing. So if you put these two together, it's really good. And then, like I said, I like all three. I do like Menage C and I do like Onika. Uh, eventually, I will get Onika in the um, in the perfume, you know, when it's in my budget. They're all, I really like all of them. <clears throat> Would I say the Nicki Minaj perfumes are my favorite in my collection? Probably not. Um, if I have to say which one I gravitate to the most, I do gravitate towards Pink Friday in general as one of my most used perfumes, but I do have other ones that I like better. So another one that I really gravitate to a lot, uh, which is probably, I would say, my top favorite right now, and that's the Juicy Couture, uh, the Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. This one is my favorite right now. I like it even better. I can't describe these scents. I like this. It's a little bit stronger than... Where did the ribbon go on this? This had a ribbon on it. This had a pink ribbon on it, and I don't know where it is. So this is the regular Viva La Juicy, which is super expensive. And the only reason I have it is because somebody gifted this to me. I really like Viva La Juicy. This was my... This was my go-to fragrance for the longest time. And I'll tell you how I discovered Viva La Juicy. A long time ago, I had a coworker who no longer works with me. She left a long, long time ago. But I had a coworker at one time and she was wearing a perfume. And I said to her, that smells so good. What is that? And she said, it's Viva La Juicy. And then I found out what the price was. And I was like, mm. So I got um, a small bottle and then every time like a holiday would come up and somebody would ask me, like one of my friends would say, well, what do you want for Christmas or your birthday or whatever? And I would say, oh, I would like um, Viva La Juicy. <clears throat> and then I was watching YouTube and I forget what the YouTuber, I forget what her name is. Melissa Marie. Melissa Marie recommended the gold couture that was at like Marshall's or TG Maxx for like 20 bucks I want to say and so I really like this one I don't really mix them together but I find myself re reaching for the gold couture more than the regular Viva La Juicy I don't know why then I will go to a perfume that I'm disappointed in so this is the Escada Eau de Candy something like that no Candy Love Candy Love by Escada when I first got this, I got this as part of a set. And this is the Eau de Toilette. It kind of looks like a butt. Um, I'm disappointed in this perfume because it smells good when you first spray it. When you first spray it on you, yeah, Escada Candy Love. When you first spray it on you, it does have that cotton candy scent and it does smell really good, but it fades so fast that I just don't find myself reaching for this. And I spent quite a bit on this. I spent like, I want to say 60 or $70 or something. It came in a set with like a really cheap um, zip pouch, pu -pu pouch, I don't know what I'm saying, zip pouch, uh, cosmetic pouch, and this in a box. And it was like, 65 something dollars but I fell in love with the packaging it's nice but it's not a favorite I, I hardly ever use this then another one that I really like but it's not a favorite this is the uh Anna Sui it's A-N-N-A -N -N -A, and then S-U-I Anna Sui Fantasia. I love the bottle on this. It's got a mermaid. I mean, I think out of all my perfumes, this has got the nicest packaging. It's so bizarre. It's really, really bizarre. Even the color is really bizarre. 
So there's the little sprayer here, right? So in order to spray, you got to move the little mermaid out of the way. Um, I like this perfume a lot, but it smells so odd. It almost has, I don't want to say it almost has like a licorice scent. It's one of those perfumes that you have to smell it, but you, in order to be able to, to see if you like it or not, I guess that's all perfumes, but it has the most odd scent. It's almost like a water scent, like an ocean scent with like licorice in it. I like it because it's it's the most different perfume that I've ever tried. It doesn't smell like anything else I've ever smelled, but I don't gravitate to wearing this a lot because it just smells so peculiar. I have to be in the mood to wear this, so this is not really a go-to scent for me. Then I have this one. This was gifted to me by the Bad Enabler. This is Coach, uh, and it's the scent Poppy. And I, at first, I I wasn't nuts about it. Then I kind of it kind of grew on me. It's okay. It also has this bizarre, like floral licorice scent. Um, I have never tried any of the other Coach perfumes, so. I don't wear this a whole lot. It is called Poppy. It does not smell anything like the Bath and Body Works version um, called Poppy. I like this one a whole lot better. So I don't really wear this a lot. It's kind of odd scented. I, I mean, you know what I find with my perfumes? There'll be a perfume that I'll start to wear, like the Gold Couture. And then I just feel like I wear that every day. And then I'll switch off to another perfume. And then I'll be like, that'll be my go-to scent for a long time. Like Pink Friday mixed with Poppy was one for me for a long time. And I have a tendency to mix perfumes a lot. So I'm using like two or three different ones. Anyway, <clears throat> let me go over to this one. This is a, a brand, it looks like it's never been used because I used a whole bottle of this and repurchased it. This is from Marshalls. It's $9.99. It's Swing by Shirley Mae Deluxe. This is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. Somebody told me what this was a dupe of, and I don't remember, but it is, it just smells so good. It smells, it just smells feminine and perfumey, and I don't know else, I don't know else, I don't know how else to describe it, but Swing is really really good i've seen other perfumes by shirley may deluxe there but i haven't liked them as much as this one like i said i used a whole bottle of this and repurchased it i mean for 9.99 you can't beat it it's really really good this one i liked at first but um i don't find myself wearing it a lot this is with love from paris by M michelle or mikhail germain this was 12.99 at tj maxx I don't know what this is a dupe of. It's just, it's kind of, um, it's kind of rose, it's kind of rose water scented. It's okay. Um, I liked it a lot better when I first got it. So I don't find myself using that a whole lot. I have like nose boogers or something. What the hell is that? Did I spray something in my nose? Okay. Then I have these two. Now I know there's three in the set. But I only have these two. So this is the English Laundry Oxford Blue Femme. And this was $14.99 in Marshalls. And then I have the English Laundry by Christopher Wicks in the gold, the rose gold. This is $14.99. And if I had to say which one I like better, I couldn't tell you. I've... Hmm. I think I like the blue one better than I like the pink one. But they, they're they both good, but they're not ones that I gravitate towards. This one is a straight up floral. I don't use it a whole lot. This is an Anne Klein. You can see with the... It's an Anne Klein perfume. It was $12.99 at Marshall's. It says Love Anne. And then it says Opulent Peony. So yeah, it has that, definitely has that rose grandma uh peony scent yeah it's it smells a lot like rose and rose water so if you like rose or rose water or peony um 
get in my mouth there. Um, Opulent Peony and Klein, you know, $12.99. Then, um, let's see what else. This one, Vera Wang Princess, I like it, but it's powdery. The perfume itself is nice. It's a nice, like, feminine perfume, but it does have that baby, baby, baby powder note in it that I'm not super in love with, so I don't use a whole lot of the Vera Wang Princess. This one I like a lot. This has been one of the ones that I've been going towards. This is another, like, knockoff of something. I don't know. So this was from Marshall's $14.99. This is Stardust Kiss Eau de Perf Parfum. I like this one a lot. It's very sweet. So, yeah. So I do use this one a lot. I have been using this. And then there's this one, which I like to mix with everything. This is Cotton Candy Crush. I don't know what this is supposed to be. A dupe of. Could be a dupe of Pink Sugar. They did have this in like three different colors. I think blue, pink, and green. Um, so I got the blue. Maybe the blue is like, it's like a blue raspberry cotton candy, but it definitely has a heavy black licorice note to the end of it. So I find myself mixing this with a lot of other scents. Um, then I have this one, which I actually like a lot. This is a stash. It's a stash privé by Sarah Jessica Parker. This was another one that I picked up at Marshall's. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I'm running out of places to spray. I like this one. It's not a favorite. It's okay. Um, I used to wear Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker for a long time. This one's all right. It's nice. I mix it with other scents. This one, I I wore it like once and then I haven't been wearing it. It's Hollister Festival Vibes. Um, so the packaging is kind of ugly. Um, this is the packaging. It actually, it opens up like an alien. Like here's the, here's the little spray thing and then you have to twist it like this. The first time I did it, it, it went shh. Like it, it, like an alien coming out of a spaceship. So this is Hollister Festival vibes. I don't remember what this smells like. It's okay. It's like this nondescript. I don't know. It's all right. It's a perfume, perfume scent. It doesn't really smell like anything in particular. Um. So yeah, not a favorite. I will tell you what is a favorite. This one, which I'm almost out of, I bought like five bottles of this. I rave about this all the time. I bought this in Telco. If you guys don't have a Telco, you can find it other places. Don't pay more than two, five dollars for it. I bought this. The first time I bought it, they were three for 10. The next time that I bought a bunch of them, they were on clearance for $2. So this is Be Sexy NYC. It's supposed to be a dupe of Beyonce's Pulse. Um, I've never smelled Pulse, but the Be, Be Sexy NYC is one of my favorite perfumes. That's why you see there's so little left there. I've gone through, I think this is my second bottle that I've gone through, and I really love it a lot. I haven't been wearing it as much because I think I OD'd on it because uh, I was using it so often. I switched over to the Gold Couture. Then I have some that are just like knockoff scents, bootleg scents. So I have this one, which uh, at first I, first I liked it, but I don't, I really don't think this is a good dupe uh, for <clears throat> uh, Viva La Juicy. So this is called It Makes Perfect Sense. I picked this up in CVS for like 10 bucks or something. It says inspired by Juicy Couture's Viva La Juicy. You can see I haven't used very much of it. It doesn't really smell like Viva La Juicy. It has this odd baby powder note to it. So I'm not nuts about that. I probably should just give it away. This one is also a dupe. This is Adriana Halo Dreams. Um, this was another Telco perfume. This is a this is supposed to be a dupe of Ariana Grande's Cloud. It's okay. I'm not loving it. I think I loved it a lot more when I first got it. 
and now it's just kind of taking up space. So yeah, now I can't smell anything anymore, which I, I'm up to my last perfume. This one I was going to give away. This is Girls and Bullets Vendetta. I forget what this is a dupe of. I picked this up at like a five and dime store. I was going to gift this or like donate it, not gift. I was going to donate it. It's, eh, I, I forget what, I think it's supposed to be, what's that perfume? Ja Jamie's got a gun, Jamie's got a gun. I don't know, I'm going to get mixed up with that Aerosmith song. So, Girls and Bullets Vendetta. Eh, so, yeah, and then mixed in here, I don't know why I have this in here, is Rihanna Crush, which I, I really like. But I did a, I did a whole separate video on sprays. So, that is, I think that's everything in my perfume collection. I don't know if I mentioned this with my sprays last time. This is the Rule Breaker Pink Sugar and Living Your Dream Mist from Victoria's Secret. I like to add this to, to a lot of my perfumes because it's just a cool scent. And I'm, you can see I used like half a bottle. Anyway, that is my perfume collection. So I'm very proud of myself that I actually sat here and did a video because I've been kind of just like, you know, pooped out and not been doing videos and everything. And, uh, yeah, it's been kind of sad. So yeah, I don't know when I'm going to be doing another video. I've cut back on my spending significantly. So that's why you don't see hauls and, uh, huge amounts of buying. I'm just using what I have. So I'll probably, you know, come up with some other collection videos and things to do. Uh, if you guys are interested in my walking videos, it's been the weather hasn't been that great lately. It was good today, but I did my steps inside the house today instead of outside. I don't know why. But anyway, um, if you guys are interested that my neighbor, my mom's neighbor that has that eight foot skeleton, she has it out again um, for Halloween. She spent, I want to say, almost $400 on that skeleton. So I guess she wants to get the most use out of it. Now I can't fit my perfumes back into the tray. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping It Sense. Uh, heart if you love this video and you want to donate to the channel. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh, and that's it. So until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.